We respect the opinions of others. We respect the opinions of others. We are attentive and participants. We respect the truth of the assessment. We said two there, huh? <laughs> okay, what about four? We have high expectations of our peers and our teachers. Very good, very good. Number five. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post-secondary endeavors. All right, all cool, cool, cool. All right, so everybody's in here. Um, let me see here. Now, we everybody should be in ESBY, right? Because I think you all should be because you know you're in the room. So that means you, you went to the right place. Uh, this is third period. And this is what we usually would do for robotics. So you guys are going to jump right into working energy. And it should be easy for some, of, for some of the veterans in this classroom that's had me before in the building. So the first thing we want to do is resize our screens, everyone. Uh, let me take quick attendance before I get too far along. The recording is uh, going to be released at uh, 2 p.m. So everything we cover, uh, we're, you know, you can go back over it. And it, I wouldn't worry about it, but you should be setting up a Google Doc right now. So let me uh, open a new tab, and we're going to go to Docs. So everybody signed into their Gmail, I hope, right? Yes. Okay, so start a new do yeah. Google document like I did. Everybody knows how to start a Google Doc? Nobody yeah. needs help with that? Okay. Yeah. I'm just checking. All right, so Lisa's here. Uh, Lee Carter is missing. What happened? Tyler, is this some old kid or is this us? Oh, yes, yes, dear, it is. Uh, it's a lot of us. Um, champagne's missing. Okay, wait, who just came in the room? Oh, people are coming in now. No, somebody left, looks like. Uh oh. We got some new kids. Okay, there's champagne. Yeah, we got a few. There's champagne. He made it. Uh, we're missing Connor, Davis, Latu's here, Mayweather's here, uh, Moore is here. Oh, yeah, I see you there. We're missing Moreno, Porter, Christian, Melody's missing. Oh, no. I got to text her real quick. But I can get y'all started first. Tyler and uh, Valdez. All missing. All right now, here's the policy, everybody. Um, like today, I'm talking to some teachers to try to see if there's some flex room for logging in, but you have a total of nine days that you miss, and you shouldn't want to miss no days because every day of instruction could help you towards a test, and we still have Friday tests. So you're going to have to follow everything I'm doing because on Friday you have a test, and it's going to be similar to what you covered Monday through Thursday. Now we only got that much because we're starting on Tuesday, which is thanks to like Labor Day. But uh, everybody is able to see my screen, right? You, you should at this point be making two screens like I did. Can everybody do that? Are you guys all on computers? Yeah. yeah. It's really hard to do it without a computer. Please do not do this on your cell phone. It, it's just going to give you a headache. Sit down at a computer, old school, and get started. So we open this document up. And, of course, you want to start by naming your document. Now, I need you guys to be doing exactly what I'm doing because in a moment, I'm going to share out and uh, we're going to just, I'm just going to see who did what to get participation points. But you got to at least be doing what I'm doing. So let's continue on. I'm going to name this the do now, which is for today. Do now. Today is the 8th of this month, 2020. And the first thing you want to type, of course, is your header. So mine is Mike Tyler. You wouldn't put Mike Tyler, you put your name, right? Then is the date is what the eighth nine twenty twenty. Then you're like, all right, put the date on the document. Well, I like to teach you how to make neat reports, so you got to have everything that I put before y'all say, do I got to put that? Yes, you do, because I take off points for neatness, and it has to be done that way. So let's delve into it. The period we're in is what this is period three, okay. and this would be intro. That's the actual name of your class. Uh oh, we lost Lisa. She comes back. Uh, intro to engineering. Okay. And this is session A. Make sure that's the correct part. You do have points taken off. You don't have that. Today's title 
is, well, let's go to our problem. Now you should... So, Kelly, we got to start putting the name of the class Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That's what CPS is telling me because they're about okay. to start, you know, hey, Lisa, welcome back. They're about to start tracking you guys in the CPS system because all of you are former CPS students. So we got to make it as neat as possible, everyone. Oh, Melly made it. Okay. So I can change it. Cool, cool. Melly, why did you join twice? What happened there? Huh. Okay. Uh, but you made it, though. So, Melody, we're at the point where we're just starting our document off. Today's topic is, or do now, is called work and energy. Okay. I'm going to keep that in the center, just the title. And then we're going to come over here. That's why I say set your screens up so you have this screen and you have this screen. Somebody leave, leave somebody left. Oh, she oh she dropped one of them. Okay. Um, so I'm going to copy. How you do that? How I do what? Who was that, Gabriel? I, I can't. Who I couldn't see who was talking. Who who said that? I said, "How you do that?" How do I do what, Gabriel? Me, Gabriel. No, I mean, how do I do? What do, What are you asking me? How, do how I you do put it? both screens? Oh, you resize it. So you grab the edge, right? Uh, you got to turn your music off. I can't hear what, what you're saying. But oh, it's Dodge A. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so you see what I'm doing, Gabe? You, you're really resizing the corners of the uh, screen. So if I brought this down, I got my stopwatch there. I got, you know, I got all these different things, but I just resize them. So you just bring it down as a box, and then there's Lee Carter. Okay, he made it. And you just resize it. Okay. Hey, Carter, you made it, man. You might want to hurry up and catch up with us. We're uh, at the point of resizing screens and getting this document started for your do now today. Okay. So everybody should be at this point, right? All I did was I resize the screens, and now I'm about to copy over the information from my my do now provided in the Edsby. So you should be in Edsby. If you have a resize like me, you can see everything from screen to screen. And this will be important when we're calculating our final numbers. So I'm going to copy this. This actually starts here. So all the work equation below. And in here, I'm going to paste it. Okay. Take a few minutes and at least get this part because uh, in about two minutes, I'm going to ask everybody to share out their screens to see if they uh, can get the first portion of participation points. Uh, should have this much typed up with your name and the problem. And then we're going to work on the problem itself. So just give me a little time to finish up. If you're finished, uh, we're going to begin. Oh, light to left. Oh, she's coming back. Mr. Tyler. Yes, who's that, Dodger? I forgot how to copy and paste. Can you explain to me? I mean, tell me how to do it again. How to in copy this, and paste? Yeah, ain't this control C or something? Isn't it steer? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, it's control C. So you hold down control and press C. But you got to first select what you want to copy. Did you do that? Yeah. Okay. And then you come over to your document, you hold down control, and you will press V. Okay, I got it. it. You got it? Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're almost out of time, everybody. Who, you, uh, Dajay, since you spoke up, do you feel like sharing your, your screen real quick so I can see where you're at? Mr. Yeah. Tyler, I'm still getting it. You're still getting what, uh, Melody? How you do that, Mr. Tyler? You click on present now, dear. Okay, wait, wait. Somebody else is presenting? I'm trying to see. You go to the bottom right hand corner. You see it? Hmm. So it's no. in the bottom right hand corner, everyone, when you do your presentations, and you can only present one at a time. All right? 
Mm, I'm trying to present. I can't. I don't even know how. So you need to learn how to do that because it's participation. You want me to come back to you? Give you time to play with it. Mm. What are we doing? Tyler? Who is that, Joel? Oh, I'm you here. Yeah. All right, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold, Do I yeah. supposed to put my entire screen? Yes. So, Joel, um, we're working on. Are you an answer, Joel? Can you? Uh, yeah. Can you so see? For the first problem today. No, I can't see you yet, dear. But you need to Tyler, share. My Wi-Fi messing up. You said what? The Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi phone that we got from the school is messing up. Are you talking about the hotspot? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see now? I'd, I'd contact Funes and Ortiz on that. I, I, I don't. I gotta look at the hot spots to see what's going. On. I can't see you though, dear. You can. Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. You're streaming you well. So click on your work. Okay, that's all I needed to see, Dajay. Okay? Pretty good. All okay, right. You can stop that's sharing. It. That's it, because we're about to start the problem. So I can stop presenting. You, yeah, you can stop presenting. You're right. Just click on that little blue button there for start. There you go. All right. So. Just to give people time to catch up, let me reshare because there's some people that just came in. And all we did, Joel, um, if you're if you hear what I'm talking about, or see, can you see what I'm doing now, everyone? Yeah. Okay, good. And with that, all we're gonna do is just solve it at this point. So you guys can finish off. And the recording, everybody who's come late is gonna be shared out. I usually share those recordings back out. So don't panic, all right? Now we're looking at this problem, and we got to set up some a few things. Now, we need to know what equation we're going to use. So what is the equation for work? If you're not sure, you can type in work equation. And, you know, if you want to be Work time force. Who said that? Was that lied to or Lisa? Me. Lied to. Uh, <laughs> okay. So... That is that is correct. If somebody, uh, the both of them, I'm gonna say Lisa and Lie too. I don't know if I heard both, but that is the work is equal to force times the distance, and that's what they were the the young ladies were saying, right? So this is let me put it here in the document, and that's work is equivalent to force times the distance. Mr. Tyler, do I have to type all that? Yes, you do, because you're going to need these notes when you have a test on Friday. So let me blow this up some. And if we look here, distance is usually measured in what? Let's see who remembers. Well, it's joules, right? What about force? And these are things we talked about when we was in the building a lot. Might have forgot. Well, if you're talking about force, those are newtons. It's multiplied by meters, which is distance. So the easy way to rewrite this is just work is equal to big F times little uh, d for distance. Now, we want to set up our known and unknowns. This is everybody's favorite part. because Now you get to finish with the problem really quickly. So known values. And unknown values. Okay, what do we have? We gotta go back up to the uh, to the problem. And if you see here, we we have we're exerting. Uh, well, do me a favor. For about ten extra uh, participation points, can someone read the problem? There is a me. Dodge started. Go ahead. <laughs> there is a what's that word, Miss Tyler? Darwin's of Darwin's Finch on the Galapagos Gal Galapagos Island mm -hmm. that can exert a force of six hundred and twelve newtons with its break as it cracks open a seed case. If it breaks, if it if its beak moves to a distance of zero point eighty four centimeters during this operation how much work does this fringe do to get at the seat inside the case very good thank you all right so okay put that down now all we got to do is take what we know about this problem right so that's force right it says it right there force is 612 newtons so we're going to say f equals for our force right and that's 
six twelve newtons. Okay, what else were we given in this problem? Well, we looks like we were given the distance. It says it right here in the problem of zero point eight four centimeters. So I can say distance is equivalent to zero point. Four centimeters. Now, there's a problem with that centimeter part. We have to convert that. But who knows what is a prefix for centa? What power of 10 is that? Nobody? Okay, so I'll tell you. Centa, if we look it up, and we probably got to do that, that sheet of reference for you guys again, where you was able to see exactly what center means. So if we look up center real quick, C-E-N-T-I, that's a 10 to the second power, right? And how do we know that? Well, if we go through our list of bases here, if everybody can see that, let me put this in the uh, chat for you so you can reference it later. So put that here. And center itself, it's 10 to the negative 2, if you can see that there. Okay, so if, you, if you're going through these physics problems and you have something that says milli, micro, nano, pico, those are all different bases, okay? So let's go back to the problem itself. We got to rewrite that problem because we, have, we can only use meters in this problem. So let's change it. Instead of centimeters, it'll be 10 raised to the negative 2, just do this here. Take your time and do it because, like, you know, you don't want to turn something in and just get half the credit. Do it correctly. Um, all right. And turn it off real quick. And that's going to be now just meters. Now we can use it. So we, took, we said it was centimeters. We want to put this in the equation. But remember, it has to be in Newton meters or joules when you're using this equation. Now, since we're, you know, the problem, I mean, the equation is already set up for work. We can just use it. We don't have to do algebra today. So what does that look like? It's going to be 612, right, our Newtons. We got that. We changed this to 0 0.84 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And then lastly, it says how much work. That's the question it's asking you, right? So. Tyler, can you go down a little bit? Right here or up? Right there. Okay. The work is equal to. Right, something in joules. If you don't remember what joule work is measured in, now that we have that, we can just begin solving things. We know the equation for work is here. Put that there for you. And then I'll come over here. So, what I end up with is. Work is equal to, in parentheses, I could put my what? My 612 Newtons. That's going to be multiplied by, it's our distance. Well, we can't use this distance. Please don't do that. You got to use this one. So that's going to be, this is times 10, by the way. There we go. I was like, something will not look right. So 0 0.84. Multiply, this is all in parentheses because it's one unit by itself, right? To so just copy this part so it doesn't, I don't have to retype and superscript all that. So copy that and put that here because that's what we're using. And close parentheses. Now, when you put these two values together, they give you joules automatically. Newtons times meters make a joule, right? That's just what it equals to. So we're going to rewrite this one more time. Paste it right here, and I'm going to remove the meters part. Because remember, these two combine, they join forces or something like that, and this will become joules now. So now let's lose our trusty symbol lab calculator that I talked about earlier. And that would be, let's see, symbol lab. I'm going to put symbol lab in the chat so you guys can use it at home for most of the problems we encounter. You should see it in the chat. So you can use that. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this calculation I came up with from doing the physics 
and I'm gonna put it in the chat. I'm put it, I'm sorry, put it in a uh, symbol app. So boom. Tyler, I'm confused. I came in on you were in the middle of this. Um, I'm confused. Oh man. It's okay. I mean, do you want to have the video and then once I finish it up, I'll do a recap if that helps. But right. you naturally got until eight PM to turn it in. So right. don't you know, don't trip. Mr. Tyler. Yes, who's that? Uh, Lisa, okay. how do you make numbers small again? Uh, you come up here to format, and there's two types. When you want to raise it to a power, you hit subscript, I mean superscript. You need to make it go underneath the letter Thank you hit subscript. You. Okay. So I'm going to take this value, hit enter, and that gives me the calculation in case you don't have a calculator at home or you don't want to do this by hand what it actually is when you multiply it together. And that comes to this number here. So you can't see that, let me type it in for you because we're about at the end of the problem. That's three, nine, let's see, what did I say? One, six, eight, and that's in joules. So you just keep all of your labels with your work. So that's 3,916.8 joules. That's the final answer. Now, let's go over it one more time. Okay, so if I scroll up to the very top, we started with the header, right? And even before that, we named our document because, like, this is your composition book. And, like, we done, like, when we had in the building, we had a composition notebook, and you could always re return to it. In this case, you got your Google Docs. So you got to keep it labeled correctly so you can always find your work for Friday exams or quizzes. Now, the title here is Work and Energy. You should have this typed up. And this this question here, uh, Joel, I took from Edsby directly. So if I go back, and that's the question for today. It should be inside the classroom itself. Oh, good. So I, just, I just copied that and put it right here. Then I gave you guys the, under, the, the equation for work. Well, actually, a few people in the classroom remembered this equation. It was four times this. I think Light2 said something. Said uh, said what it was. So you need to have that typed in. What each of those components means, joules, newtons, and meters, right? That's what each of those are. Bring that up for you guys. This corresponds to what's above it. Those are what those mean. And then this, the shorthand equation is right here. This is where you have uh, work is equal to, this is the mathematical uh, representation. So work is equal to force times the distance. Now, after we did that, we set up our known values, what the problem told us, and our unknown values. Our, unknown va our known values are given here. So force, for instance, it says it very specifically. Force is equal to 612 newtons. So I put that there. Distance is equivalent to 0 0.84 centimeters. So what did I do? I, I got it from here, right? So it says distance. Now, OK, so somebody left the room. I had, uh, I'll check the recording. So we'll come down here, and I'll put that in there. Now, the part that may be tricky is when you got to convert centimeters to just meters. And to do that, you, you got to know about, I think you got this link where I talked about what centi means. It's 10 to the negative 2. OK? So let's see here. We had to rewrite it as 0 0.84 times 10 to the negative 2, and now we have meters. And we had to do that only because, if you look here, you can only use meters for distance. You can't use centimeters. So last is, what is the question asking you? That's unknown. Well, how much work? That's the question right there. Is, you know, does the finch or bird need to do crack the seed case open and probably get at the seed for food? So work will be equal to some number we're going to figure out down here in joules. And then the rest is where we're at now, right? Did that help out or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So all we I want you to do is at this point, 
take five minutes to type up as much as you can. You have until eight, but after the five minute clock, I'm gonna see who at least gets some participation points for showing that they've completed most of it. So I'm gonna leave this running. I'll be here, I'm not going anywhere. You completed yours, so you wanna share already? I already share mine. Yeah, no, I'm mean, sharing mine. But did you finish the whole thing, ladies? Y'all, y'all, quick. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So, the light two, go first. Then Daje, just share your screen. Let me stop sharing. And um, if you're done, then you can leave early because you, you need you need to uh, turn it in after you do that, you guys. And I'm gonna show you how to turn it in once I see what you got. So let's take let's see what you got real quick. Who going first? Me. No, I was telling Lightu to go first, but uh, is she there? I'm going first. I guess you are. Okay. Uh, I thought she was there. So Daje is sharing, right? Okay, there she goes. You got the hang of it now, Daje. All right. Okay. Okay. Can you uh, zoom in a little bit more though? Like, go to your uh, it says where it's 100 percent. Change it so it's like this right here. Yeah. Can you change that to like 150 or something? All right. Oh, that's a lot better. Thank you. Okay, so scroll down. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so you know how to turn it in, right? Yeah, on ESB, right? Right, you got to download it as a PDF first and then submit it to the assignment. Right. Do you, can you go through that process real quick? In case everybody's not aware. Yep, download PDF. It should download. I don't see it pop on your there. Yeah, you go. Get over there, and now go to Edsby, and you click on the assignment. Yep, and you're gonna come down some. You see the browse your computer? Oh, you you quick? Okay, you got it. Yeah, yeah. That's the right document, right? Yeah. Okay, then you hit the next one. Yep, and then you still gotta finish it off. There you go. Awesome. All right. So let me check Daje, and if that's the case, anybody else wants to share out, they can. Daje, you can stop sharing. I'm about to see if you submitted it correctly. I think you did. Can I share? Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Okay. What the? There you go. I see something, Gabe. Okay, Lisa submitted. Daje submitted. Okay, looks good, Gabe. Scroll up a little bit so I can see the top of the document, sir. That's okay. That's good. That's good. You still missing your title though? So I don't want you to miss no points. Remember, type that in there like I did mine. You remember the title was? It was working energy. You see math, Mr. Tyler? Uh, you sharing light too? I didn't think I, I was asking you were you ready. I didn't hear you. Okay, you're back. Uh, I don't see yours yet, light too. You got to share out, dear. Gabriel, to hurry up and submit it so you, you don't forget. How you, share out? you click on the present now in the corner, light too. Okay. And then you got to choose which screen you want me to see and click share again. So I would do entire window or window and click share again once you choose what window you want us to see. You got it? She got quiet again. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Is it not working for you, dear? Mr. Tyler. Miss Moore, yes. I didn't you say, did you say when we done, we can leave early? So I was going to say that next, and it seems like Sankara is having trouble. So everybody yeah, else. I did it, but it said, hold on, I'm going to try again. Okay, okay. okay. Why are you, you trying it? And click on the window? Yes, and then you got to share. Contact. You could you click on the window. It's quicker if you do the window. Okay. And then you got a share button, right? Share. So, so everybody else, if you've submitted it, um, you can go. If you didn't, you have until eight. I see you, Sinkara, now. Later, you Mr. Have until eight. 
you have until eight to turn it in. I'll see you guys uh, whenever I see you next period, I guess, or whenever I see you again. <laughs> uh, Sinkai, scroll down, dear. Yep. Okay. You're looking good. Okay. All you got to do is just download it and put it in an SV, dear. You remember how? I sent it to you already. Okay. So you already, oh, okay. You already sent it to SV? Yep. Okay. All right. I see yeah. you. I, I see it popped up. All right, okay. everybody else, you got until 8 p.m. I want you to have time for, to get ready for your next period, so I'll see you guys later. That is pretty much it. 8 p.m., this must be turned in. Try to turn it in now, though. Don't wait till the last minute. I'm I'm still here if you got questions on how to turn it in though. Bye, Mr. Oh. Tyler. All right, see you later. Have a good day. And likewise. Anybody in here need help submitting that document? If it's submitted in Edsby, I, I'm trying to let you go early, but if you, you're struggling, speak up. Let me know. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Okay, Mel. I'm just checking. Oh, Lee, you good over there? Are you getting it all typed up? Oh, okay. Some people are away from the computer. I gotta follow up with Lee. Mr. Champagne, how are you coming? How are you going with the work? Okay, I know Melly's here. I know Joel. Joel, you there? Yeah. I'm okay, thank, you. thank you, sir. Just checking in. So if you finish, you just would submit it to you Ed. Mad, um, you mad sharing your screen? Sure. Because I took a screenshot of it, but I didn't get the bottom. That's no problem. Give me a second. So I'm going to present this for you again. You should see what I'm doing now. And uh, How's that? Does that help? Yeah. Okay. So if you guys need me to scroll up or down, just let me know. But it's there for you to finish up.
big dog you got over there, Man, this is my this is the, the neighbor's dog, man. It's oh, all, my bad. <laughs> it's annoying, man. This he always wakes me up. It's all right outside my window. <laughs> That's gotta be painful. Poor guy. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so it's one o'clock. Is at this point where I would just give you a ten minute break. You could take the ten minute break now and um, just come back and work some more, or you can just work for ten more minutes and then leave early. It's up to you. So do I gotta uh, present it once I'm done, or just turn it in and leave? So once I confirm that it's in Edsby, if you're done with it, Joel, and it's correct. Then you go on for the day. That's pretty right, much I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna be done in like two minutes. Okay, just let me know when to check as me, sir. <clears throat> uh, the mm -hmm. this school computer charger not working, so my computer might die. All right, well, we gotta we gotta have a conversation with your parent to get you to the school and uh, get the fix. My mama actually about to go back up to the school, but. My thing on three percent, so I think it's gonna turn off. But I'm doing the work right now, trying to hurry up and turn it in. Okay, just make sure you save it. Well, make sure it's on your Google Docs, so you should be able to go back to it. And you got until eight p.m. Okay. to get it done. Okay. okay. Mr. Champagne, are you there? You haven't responded. Mr. Carter, are you there? It is the second warning. You guys have not spoken up. It is CPS policy to make sure that you're with the class. Okay. Can you go back to the um, work? Oh, you are there. Cool. Awesome. Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. Thank you, Carter. Champagne, are you there? I have to check three times. This is a part of the policy that CPS told us to make sure you guys are participating. Hey, Tyler. Yes, sir. What should I title it? Uh, you talking about the top of the document or in the middle of the document? Um. Well, where do I have to put a title at? 
right here. You see my screen? Um, all right, I got it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> all right, call champagne. Oh boy. Hey, what did your title say? It says uh work and energy, Joel. Did I turn it in, Mr. Tyler? Uh let me check, dear. I'm gonna come right back to it, Carter. <sighs> Terry, I see something. You free to go, dear. I'll check it tonight. Okay. All right, take care. I can leave. You can leave, dear. Yes, yes. That was the thing. You had to finish, so you can leave. Get yourself ready for your next class. Take care. Can you check, Tyler? Let me check yours, Joel. Yeah. All right. Looks like you're golden, Mr. Moreno. You see you later, dude. Get ready for your next class. Thank you. Okay, so we're just waiting on uh, Carter, and then I gotta follow up with Champagne. <clears throat> Okay, Carter and uh, Terry still here, and uh, we got champagne. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we got four more minutes. Uh, we need you to share out. Um, like, uh, do you have you your work ready to to put into Esby or no? Everyone can see the screen, though, right? So as you as you'll notice, I'm being informed that I have to make sure that uh, people are checking in. Um, it'll be me asking you to turn your camera on or respond to a question. This is not to put you on the spot, but to make sure you get credit for the full day of class. You cannot um, be in class and not participating. That's the rules. Do you guys need me to scroll up or down? Do you got everything? Hold on, I'm almost done. Cool. I know Melody's done. I still see her, though.
All right, I think the attendance is all correct. Yeah, she's removed. Okay, she she left finally. So it's just you two left. Okay, you want me to share it to the class or something, something like that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Can you share your screen real quick, and mm -hmm. then I want to see you to go through the process of submitting it to SB Carter. Okay, there you go. Oh, you got it, my man. All right. Why you want us to share it? Yeah, you gotta share it next, and then you gotta submit it. So, Lee, just put it in SB and let me know when it's confirmed it's there, and then I can let you go. No, we need right. you uh, next, uh, Champagne, to share out your work so we can uh, either let you go early or if you need help, I'll help you. I'm, how I'm you, how you make a copy of it? Uh, remember, you got to go to uh, File, right? Uh -huh. And then come down to Download. Uh huh. And then hit PDF. Once you do uh, that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then you put it inside of the SB thing. All right. I'll just, I'll just submit it. Let me see here. So right now, looking for Lee Carter. I don't know. I see it. I see it, Mr. Carter. I'll, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, dude. You see it? You see it? I got your, I got your document, sir. And I believe now, right? You're done. You, yep, I see it. Well, you missed your title, so. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's only a few points off. All right, so. Mr. Champagne, your last. Uh, you ready to share something or uh, show your work? Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm typing it up right now. Okay. So you need me to share the screen again so you can see it? Yeah. All right. One second. I already came to see you. Never mind. You can just do it like that. So it's sharing, right? I think you should see it already now. Uh, do you want me to scroll up? Where were you at? I don't know. I'm right that was a force. Okay, okay. What's on my next class, Dar? Uh, the next class is uh, we're looking at one twenty to three thirty. So, so I was trying to get you to hurry up and finish, so you have a little time to yourself. But I did want you to at least finish this up so you can submit it. You don't have to worry about it. You got until eight p.m. I was about to tell you you got about eight more minutes of class before you start your next period. So, I'm gonna trust you're gonna hurry up and submit it. You know how to submit it, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna trust that you submitted. You got until eight to get it done. 
but take the next few moments and get you know get yourself a stretch or whatever because your next class is at 120. Um, do you know how to get there? You know the link and everything or no? Mm-hmm. Okay, just make sure you be there on time, dude, and you can't miss more than nine days. So just finish strong. I'll see you later, then. Uh.